friends, welcome back to Homeschoolology. If you're new here, my name is Nikki. I'm a homeschooling mom of four. I've got a seventh grader all the way down to a preschooler. In today's video, I'm going to be concentrating on the, the my younger two and what we're doing this year for my younger two. This is their first year homeschooling and we just started about a month ago, but we started using the new quill program from Brave Writer. And so today's video, I'm gonna be sharing kind of like my thoughts so far on the quill program. new program from Brave Writer. Um, it is the mechanics and literature piece of Brave Writer. If you are new here and or haven't heard about Brave Writer, um, there's three components. There's the original thought, which is Grand Grieve Writer's great read. Definitely pick it up. Then there's the mechanics and literature piece, and then there is the writing projects piece. So we, uh, Quill is kind of like your introduction to Brave Writer now. Um, this is, like I said, this is new. Brave Writer just put this out. This is the first month that there's been one there's two out now because they're coming out one month at a time and if you buy the whole bundle you get them on the 15th of the month that before they come out so August's was released on July 15th to people who bought the bundle um, September's was released on August 15th so the 15th of the month previous is when the new one comes out to people who buy the bundle. If you're buying them individually, you have to wait till August 1st for, to get August, September 1st to get September. We're almost done with the first month and I am loving it. It is, it covers, a quill covers the th basically the three R's. So you've got reading, writing, and arithmetic. Um, but it's very gentle approach, um, very gentle introduction, starting with the first one, which was wordless picture books. So basically, there's like <clears throat> you're the writing is like do, making squiggles and using different mediums to get them used to you know holding a pencil or holding a paintbrush or hold you know and making lines and making shapes and making things like that it's very simple and straightforward math was um <clears throat> like there's a really cool like token activity and but basically just like getting comfortable with counting and things like that it's very easy and gentle so um, it would work well for a five-year-old my three-year-old is using it and enjoying it some of the things are a little like the token counting was too beyond her um, but we've just been practicing counting um, and my five-year-old that he really enjoyed the token counting activity um, that is in there so we, it just has been going really well. They are loving the wordless picture books that the Brave Writer Quill suggested. We've been having so much fun doing it and I really think this program is going to be excellent for us for this year. Um, it is very gentle. There's like, it's not a lot of work that is to be done, you know, and it's uh, kind of go at your own pace. And so I'm going to give you kind of a down view of the, um, not kind of a down view. I'm going to give you a down view of the inside of the first quill, which was the wordless picture books. I have now have the second one. We haven't started it yet, but it has been released. It's riddles and jokes. Um, and so I'm going to talk a little bit about that, but I'm not going to show you the inside of that. Um, I'm going to show you the inside of the were this picture books, but just know that this follows on that same, you know, it's the same layout. The things are the same. So I'm going to show you the inside of that now. Here is Quill. This is the first one, the first one ever, actually. Um, but the way that their programs work, if you buy the year program, you get one every month for 10 months. Um, so this was the first month of the first time that they ever had Quill, and it was wordless picture books. And oh my gosh, was this so fun. Um, my kids really enjoyed it a lot, and so I highly recommend it. But basically, um, it follows the same approach as all of her other guides do. Um, in lots, you know, it tells you like what you're going to be learning about um, in this issue. These are the things that you're going to cover. And then it talks about why picture books, wordless picture books are important and what we can learn from them. And it gives you all those kind of details. And then as you move into it, you get to activities. Um, and they, there is like a very, um, like these are the things you can do for this activity. These are the steps you can take to do this activity. So it is semi laid out in a way um, that is step by step, but it's not going to give you any kind of script to follow so if you're a script lover this is not necessarily that um, but if 
you are able to kind of like read over something and then implement it, it's very easy to do that. So as you can see, it does include questions for you to ask your child. So it is a little scripty in that sense that there's questions laid out for you to ask and get, you know, but then it's like the conversation is going to be driven by how your child answers those questions. Each activity will tell you how many times you should try to get to this part activity in the course of the month that you'll be studying this specific quill. So like I said, these guides are for, you know, one month each. You'll get a new guide each month and it'll be a different topic each month. So as you can see, like there are several activities in it and it tells you to do these activities once or do them two or three times or four times throughout the month of the you know the entire month so you can do this um i wrote out a schedule that was like a three day a week schedule because we are also using blossom and root which i'm will share about again later on i'm not ready to share about it yet it's a th we've used it three days a week we did a reading activity a writing activity and a math activity each day for three days of the week um sometimes we made it through all of them sometimes their attention span wasn't long enough for that they are only three and five but it was pretty darn easy i just sat down with my guide at the beginning of the month and i kind of just made myself a little schedule you don't have to get this fancy and this complicated i just like having checks that you know check boxes that i can check off and so i said you know i told myself like i want to do activity one with two books on day one and i want to do activity three and i want to do activity um or for math we just did counting practice because it was our first day and i didn't know where they were necessarily on how you know how well they were counting yet we of course we count things all the time but i used it as a day to kind of like assess where they were at to assess where we needed to go um and so i found out that they were in very different areas when it came to math and so i had to adjust the activities um, but it was super easy to do i mean i did it in the moment it is not complicated to implement this i'm using it with like my son who's five and my daughter who's three it, this is recommended for five to seven so you could easily adapt it uh, or use it for multiple children like i am doing so that is basically what we did we did it three days a week um for the entire month we, well we've done it for three weeks so far we have one more week we're going to do it three days a week i really am enjoying the quill and i think if you are looking for something that is a gentle approach to introducing um, homeschooling that the quill would be a perfect fit for you oh, Reckon, yes. what is this part called again you don't remember. What is it? Spine. The spine. You're so smart. How'd you get so smart? It's spine. What, what is this part called? Do you remember? This part? Yeah. This part is called the spine. The cover. This part right here is the spine. Can you put can you rub your finger on the spine? Mm -hmm. Good job. Mm -hmm. Brecken, I bet you don't remember what this page is called. Mm -hmm. The what? End paper. The end paper? <laughs> what? How did you get this part? And what is this page called? I want it. Is it the title page? Title <laughs> The title page? It's that. Right Do in you see a rocket ship? I bet you can't count the astronauts. 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 Ready? Yeah, 
There's only one crayon left, right? Yeah. What color? What color is this one over here? Yeah, orange. Pink. Pink. Where's orange? Right here. Good job. Great. What color is that, Brendan? Red. Purple. Oh, green. Green. Uh oh. Did he get in trouble for drawing on the rocks? Yeah, not him. But he didn't do it, you're right. <laughs> Who did it? Who drew on the rocks? Aliens. The aliens? No way! <gasps> Are they saying goodbye, friends? Goodbye. Goodbye, friends. Now she's drawing what? What did she draw? The aliens. Can you draw an alien? Draw an alien? You need, you need the gray. You need, well, can we make black aliens? Yes. Mommy, no, no, can you help me? Sure, you get started and then I'll help you. Y'all aren't having fun, you're just whining. <laughs> I'm gonna do the count first. No! Mommy, I, I can't remember what color is this, I forgot. <laughs> what color is it, Asta? Yellow! It's my color! Yeah, yellow. Can you say yellow? Yellow! Brecken, which, which one of these is your favorite color? Mom, then it's my color. Mm. Blue. Why, what color is this one? Nothing. Nothing. What color is this one? Blue. Can you, can you get all Yellow and green. Blue and green, good job. What color do you make? Aspen, what color is this one? What? What? Red. You and Red. Green. It's spicy. It's spicy. Red and is spicy. You and can you, green. Can you collect all your bears? What the? <laughs> what is what is let's look on our color wheel? Okay, just a second. Let's look at the color wheel. When you have what what did you say? Red and blue? Red and blue, when you put those together you get purple. I'm not buying purple. This color with gone. This color with this color, you get like this color, it's a blue color. Okay, it's Brecken's turn, okay? Brecken, can you find a green avocado? Avocado? Mm -hmm. Okay. Good job. Aspen's turn. Can avocado. Aspen find a green watering can? Kind of. That's a bottle. <laughs> That's I mean. over on this side. Watering can. There it is. Good job. Day today? Yeah. Okay. Will you count? Will you count to ten for me, and then you can be all done? <laughs> count to ten. I don't want to fucking count. You want to count to ten with the bears? Yeah. Okay. Come over here and count to ten with the bears, and then you can be done for today. Good job, guys. Can I have high fives? High fives. You guys are so smart. I put this in me and I'm me. All right. Bye, buddy. Ow! Do you want to do, do any more school or are you all done? I want to do school. You want to you do more school? I'll just watch, Mama. I'll watch. Okay, you're going to watch? Yeah. What color is this one? Orange. Orange? 
Where's Where the can I help her spin? So if you guys have questions or comments, please head on down to the comment section and let me know. I will be happy to answer them for you. Um, I'd love to hear if you're using it, what your thoughts were on it as well. Um, while you're down there, I hope you will subscribe to this channel, ring that notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up. And that is all I have for you guys today. So I hope you'll come back and chat with me again soon, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.